This is Jupiter Today for the 5th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. This blue line here is the line of sight to Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. So as you can see, it's going to be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. And Europa starts the day in quadrant three heading west, going towards its western elongation. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant four heading east, and Callisto is also in quadrant four heading east all day. By 6 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has just passed its western elongation, and is going to be in quadrant 4, heading east the rest of the day. At 12 hours UTC, EO has gone past its eastern elongation, and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. At 16.16 UTC, Europa goes through its perigove, the closest distance it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that distance is 664,925.1 kilometers. And then at 16.51 UTC, EO goes through its perigove, and that's at a distance of 420,016.1 kilometers. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is still firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto all continue in quadrant 4, heading east. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. There are 5 Jupiter satellite events today. At 2.40 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. At 2054 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 2131, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 2311 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 2349 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. And there are no satellite mutual events today. So we'll go right on to the orbital ribbons for today. These are just the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that you just saw. And I've just connected the same times together to make these interesting structures. So there's Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto. Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. Then I combine them all and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. See what's going on in the sky of Jupiter over the next 24 hours, standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. And every 24 hours, Jupiter rotates on its, on its axis a couple of times. There's Europa and Ganymede and Callisto all in quadrant four. And there's Europa passing in front of Ganymede. Maybe someday actual human eyes will see that. It goes Eo moving between Jupiter and the Sun for a transit from our point of view.
And then there's Europa passing in front of Callisto. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 941 UTC and the second at 1937 UTC. There were a couple of new images posted. And there was no new radio data today. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, seven minutes, 54.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 30 minutes, 20.8 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the sun today is 150.332 degrees, and that's 1.103 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 5.275 degrees, and that's 0.18 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 666,622,412 kilometers, and that's 1,175,153 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 48,964.71 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,659.04 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,890,228 kilometers and that's 45,061 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,877.54 kilometers per hour, and that's 7.17 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 292.15 degrees, CM2, 106.94 degrees. CM3, 22.45 degrees. The time of this recording is 0 hours 3 minutes on the 5th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. I'd like to hear your comments and questions and suggestions to make this podcast ever better. I want to give as many perspectives on this very dynamic system as I possibly can. And so you can send all of those and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.